Hi everybody, Simona here from Vector Twist. St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner and today I would like to show you how to create a three-leaf clover or shamrock in Illustrator CC. First here on our document we're going to turn on the grid. So let's go to View and let's select Show Grid. At the same time when you go back to View make sure your smart guides are turned on. Then with the fill set to none and the stroke to black we'll choose the pen tool and then let's set the stroke to a green. At the same time we're going to open up and pull out the stroke panel. We're going to use the grid to create a V-shape with the pen tool. So I'm going to press here once, twice and then a third time. After that we're going to select our shape and we're going to increase the stroke weight. So let's set it to approximately 40 points. Then we're going to change the cap to round cap and I'm going to increase it. Let's say to 68 points. This value really depends on how large your V-shape is. After that we're going to rotate our shape. So we're going to choose the rotate tool here in the toolbar. I'll activate it. Now we're going to set the rotate point here on our artboard. In order to do that we're going to press and hold the option or alt key on the keyboard and we're going to press approximately on the bottom here inside of our shape. This will then give us the rotate pop-up menu and we're going to set the angle to minus 120 degrees. Let's toggle off and on the preview button and then press copy. Now we will not deselect our shape. We're going to use the duplicate shortcut. So all we have to do is press command or control and D on the keyboard and that will give us another copy on the other side. And now we have our shape for our three leaf clover. Now we're going to select all of our shapes and outline the stroke. So go to Object, Path and then choose Outline Stroke. Open up the Pathfinder panel and choose Unite from the Shape Modes. And now you have a solid shape in the form of a shamrock or three-leafed clover. Now let's set the stroke back to a green and the fill to none. Use the Pen tool again and let's add a little stem to our shamrock. After that I'm going to choose the Width tool and widen it a little bit here in the middle. Let's move it up a little bit. Of course you can take it a step further. We can add some different colors to our shamrock. First we're going to set the stroke to black and to one point. Then we're going to choose the pen tool and we're going to create lines to divide our shamrock into sections. So I'm going to click once on the bottom. Then I'm going to do this exactly for the diagonal and on the other side as well. Now I'm going to select the shamrock shape and our lines that we've just created. We'll open up the Pathfinder panel and we'll choose Divide in the Pathfinder options. Now I've divided my shamrock into six different sections. Now with the Direct Selection tool I can select all of my different shapes and choose maybe a lighter green. And that's pretty much it. This is really an effective way here in Illustrator to create a shamrock. Of course you can dress it up, you can add stroke, you can add gradients. This is really up to you. Now I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel here on Vector Twist. At the same time head over to VectorTwist.com and check out the blog for more tutorials, tips and tricks. I'll see you next time.